Welcome to the vCloud Automation Center demo, requesting new IT services. During this demo, we're going to show you the user self-service experience of how to go about requesting new IT services. First, we're going to provide you with an overview of the vCloud Automation Center self-service portal. Then we're going to show you how to request new IT resources by examining three different types of provisioning examples. Once the request process is complete, we will show you how to monitor the status of your request. This is the vCloud Automation Center Soil Service Home tab or dashboard. It contains a number of portlets that empower the user to view the status of their resources, open requests, as well as receive notification of pending actions that require their attention. Users can customize their dashboard by adding or removing these portlet apps. Users can choose from a list of predefined portlet apps that are appropriate for their role. These portlets can be positioned within the dashboard by dragging and dropping them to their desired location. Each user can also change the layout of their dashboard by choosing from a number of predefined column layouts. The Catalog tab provides a personalized list of infrastructure, applications, and custom services that I'm allowed to request. Before we demo how to request new IT services, let's look at some of the policies that will limit what services are available to each user. Which services a user is allowed to request, how much resources they can consume, what types of resources they will receive are all controlled by very granular policies that allow an IT administrator to deliver personalized, business-relevant services to their users. Before we start the demo, let's look at some of these policies. The Tenant Admin or Business Group Manager designs service blueprints. They control how an IT service will be provisioned and managed throughout its life. There are several videos available to help you better understand how to author infrastructure, applications, and custom services. Next, the admin or manager publishes the blueprints and associates the blueprints with one or more business groups. A tenant admin can publish blueprints for many business groups, a business group manager for just their group. These services are still not available to users associated with the group until the tenant admin or business group manager configures the service entitlement policies. Several videos are available on catalog management, service entitlements, and approvals to help you better understand this process. Entitlement policies can be used to differentiate the services each user within a group can request or manage. For example, Ken can have a completely different service catalog than Connie even though that they have the same vCloud Automation Center role and belong to the same business group. So let's get back to the demo. I'm currently logged in as Connie in the Nefosoft development group. These are the list of IT services available to me. Let's first request the inventory manager application by clicking on the request button on the catalog item. As part of the request process, I can see the default configuration of the service I have selected, as well as the daily cost and the total cost for the duration of the lease period. In this case, the administrator made the blueprint very prescriptive. I have no control over the quantity of resources or the service level. The only control I have is over the number of machines I can provision, and even that is limited by the blueprints policies. I can add some descriptive text and then click Submit to initiate the request. Looking at the Request tab, I can see the status of all my requests. Since this was a standard service with fixed resources, the provisioning process started immediately. Not only will the status be updated when the request is finished, but I also will receive an email letting me know that my service is available. Next, let's initiate the provisioning of the Shop Floor Manager Infrastructure Service by clicking the Request button in the Catalog item. You'll notice that this time, the Service Blueprint policies allow me to specify specific amounts of resources or lease durations within the min-max thresholds. As I make adjustments to the service attributes, both the daily cost as well as the total cost for the duration of my lease are adjusted proportionally. When I am satisfied with my configuration, I can click the Submit button to initiate the provisioning process. This time, when I click the Request tab to monitor my pending request, I notice that the specific service and resource configuration I have entered requires an approval. Click on the Request number to drill down to the details and determine the next person in the approval workflow. vCloud Automation Center provides a unified service catalog where users can request from a personalized list 
of infrastructure applications and custom services. We have just explored how to request two infrastructure services. The process to deploy a multi-tiered application or custom IT service is similar. This completes our video requesting new IT services. In the next video, we will look at how users can manage their existing machines, applications, and other custom IT services using the vCloud Automation Center self-service portal. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and we hope that it was informative. To learn more about vCloud Automation Center, there are additional videos available.